Hello there. Yippee ki yay, motherfuckers, and welcome. <laughs> That's part of me for swearing. I just had to. I just had to. In honor of Bruce Willis and his retirement from acting. Um, all the best to my man. Obviously, the sad news yesterday, he's retiring from acting. Um, diagnosed with aphasia, I believe, which is like a communicating um, disorder with the brain. So I hope all is well with him. God bless him and his family. But in honor of Bruce Willis, I'm going to be watching The Sixth Sense for the first time today, guys. Yes, I do not know how I have not watched this film. Um, Bruce Willis is one of my favorite actors. Like, you know, 90s action actors. You think of Bruce Willis, you think of Die Hard. In fact, a hot take with Die Hard. My favorite Die Hard is actually Die Hard with a Vengeance. Um, a hot take, hot take, yes. I just enjoy the dynamic um, John McClane does have with Samuel Jackson's character in that movie. I just love Die Hard with a Vengeance. And then obviously, Fantastic and Unbreakable. I like, I actually really like Armageddon as well. And obviously, Pulp Fiction. So, in honor of Bruce Willis, I'm going to be watching The Sixth Sense for the first time today. So, hopefully, you guys can kick back, enjoy my movie reaction. And yes... I'm a bit worried because it's on Disney Plus and hopefully they haven't censored anything. So yes, let's get right into the movie reaction. Let's go. As always, if you are guys are enjoying the content, enjoy the hype, want to see a bit of different unique takes with movie reactions and reviews, sometimes do skits as reviews, I'm starting to do that. Feel free to like, share and subscribe the video, hit that notification button and yes, I'll be doing a Scream giveaway soon, a Scream 4K giveaway and possibly a Spider-Man No Way Home one, depending on how I go with getting access to them. So yes, stay tuned for those guys, let's get right into the movie, I'm very excited. The only thing I know about this movie, um, or I've seen footage of this movie, is the I see dead people line, that's all I know, that's all I know. Man, I really hope this movie is not scary. Because it's approaching night time here, and I don't want to be scared tonight when I sleep. Oh my gosh. Nah, we can't have this, man. I don't want this. Man, science freaked me the F out. I don't want to freaking get wrecked here. Please just give me a minute. I waited 10 years for you. It has good, man. Let me try. Just give me a chance. Oi! Oh, damn, I did not expect that. <laughs> My man just hustled the statue. Hey, I, how are you gonna hustle from a church? <laughs> he didn't care. He's just like, yep, I'm gonna take this with me. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> My kids just standing there like, yo. Thing is, you didn't hear any of the like smashing or anything of the like, the cupboards or the drawers. I read your mind. What I say is right. You take one step towards the chair. <laughs> what I say is wrong. <laughs> He's a fantastic child actor so far, like Haley Joel Osment. Like, even the way he just, like, he doesn't rush towards his dialogue. The way he's, like, composed in his emotions, you know, he waits before he acts. Like, he's just, like, it's just the, I don't know. I feel like it's just, it's well directed as well in terms of, like, the directions he's been given. But obviously, the it takes a great child actor as well to follow those directions and obviously, you know, pause, hold his emotions, and then talk as well when need to. So he's doing well so far. Your dad gave you that watch as a present just before he went away. Oh, he got that one wrong. He got that one wrong. Got it in the drawer. See, he's finding more about the kid as he asks these questions anyway, so it's a win-win for the doctor. I didn't have a very good session today. Didn't keep track of time. Is that because the watch doesn't work and the watch is actually his he gave to the kid? I don't know. So similar. I swear the war just moved forward. Or am I tripping? 
bro, there's something fishy going on here. There's something more than what's happening on the face, I feel like. There's like this, like a weird glare in each photo. I bet like there's someone missing in each photo or something like that. And she's like even confused. <laughs> Don't touch me, wife. <laughs> whole building was full of uh, lawyers and lawmakers. They were the ones that hanged everyone. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know which one of these guys told you that. I don't like people looking at me like that. Hey, yo, the mood changed. Like what? Stop it. Excuse me. <laughs> you talked funny when you went to school here. You talked funny all the way to high school. Oh boy. What? You shouldn't look at people. It makes them feel bad. Stop! Stop that! Yo, cl clearly this kid's got the CV on everyone. Shut up, you freak! Okay, that escalated real quick. Oh crap. That's not good for the wife, man. Why doesn't that door open? That's the second time he's tried it. The one with the red handle. There's something to that door. Oh, don't tell me a Pennywise is gonna come now, man. I have no time for that fool at the moment. I didn't sleep three nights when I saw his movie. I don't wanna see it again. What the heck, man? Wow. Open this door, I'll break through it and grab you. This is freaky man. The star of the commercial always gets so tricked. Oh man, that's so savage. Oh, this not gonna be fun. This not gonna be fun. Hey, I'm not shovel out, my guy. <laughs> He doesn't think you're sad, bro. He knows you're sad. <laughs> you always told me. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know, too. I feel like he was very clever in picking his words for retelling the story of what happened that night at the start of the film. So I'm guessing there's more to it. <laughs> Wait. Are you awake? So if he sees dead people while he's awake, then who's real in this movie? Looking around like crazy for people. Oh, okay. Oh, they I see each other. That they only see what they want to see. They don't know they're dead. Okay. <laughs> How often do you see them? So maybe that's why he doesn't get along with his wife, because he's actually dead? I, I, I bet you M. Night Shyamalan was like looking at the delivery of Haley Joel Osment in the scene behind the camera and just smiling. He's like, I've got a money scene right here. I've got a money line. I've made history here. <laughs> One of these lines. Like, this is iconic. <laughs> Man, it's, yeah. Some clever stuff. There's still like an hour to go, so I'm interested. I didn't expect this line to come like halfway through the film. Oh my word. I was just texting someone and I looked up and saw a man them walk past the door behind the kid. I'm gonna wait. Oh. oh. Dinner is not ready. That does not look like mama. You can't hide me anymore. <sighs> That's not mama, bro. Yes, go to the Stranger Things. Go to the Stranger Things tent. Do a will. Oh, we haven't been in his sanctuary yet. Oh my gosh. And now he's seeing the hangings from a hundred years ago. Cause what is, ha that was, that was, they're picking up a bit. Like I was interested from the beginning, but now it's got me more intrigued. You've had enough roast beef. You need to leave the table. How you gonna Go! how you gonna dismiss your son from the table, fam? Your only son. 
Can't even finish his roast beef, bro. How you gonna dismiss him like that? Oh my gosh. Bro, burn the house down. Burn the whole joint down. Burn it to the cows come over. Nuke that crap. <laughs> Motherfucker, I did not expect the brain to be seen. Even the dog can see it. Bro, cough off the dollars, fam. Pay the bucks. She worth it. Get that card out, boy. Stop simping. Get the card out. Wait, what's she alluding to? Pass away. The dialogue is very intended here. That's the way it works. Yo, that's a dangerous task. Telling the kid. Listen to the ghost. <laughs> Oh, it's cold. That's not good when it's cold. Oh, fam, allow it. Please. Please. <laughs> Fuck you. No, I'm so sorry for swearing. Bro, I don't like this type of stuff. Bro, burn the... Wait, she just wants help. Just talk to her, please. I'm so sorry for swearing. I'm so sorry. I don't like this stuff here. Why do I put myself through this? Once again, I'm so sorry for swearing. I'm so sorry for swearing. Oh my god. I don't like swearing. I don't like it. Oh, she cool. She cool. Once you know, once you communicate, they're alright. They're alright. Hopefully. I still want to drop kick him. Oh, so he communicated with the girl. Last night, they just passed away. How did they get upstairs to her bedroom without like their parents knowing or like anyone blocking them or sussing them out? Oh, there's something under the bed. There's something under the bed, fam. Yeah, boy. Yee. Bro, you just spoke with her last night. Allow it. Where's the doctor? Where's the doctor? What she want to tell her dad? Ah, oh, it's a videotape. It's not. It's never straightforward. This is gonna turn into some horror stuff, isn't it? Would you like to dance? You can kick me. Oh, okay then. I don't want to watch this, man. I got my hand over my face because I know something stupid's gonna happen. It's too quiet. Nah, don't tell me the mum killed her. Ah, oh, nah, fam. That is... Oh, my heart goes out to you, my man, them. Yo, so the girl was delivering the truth from the from being passed away to Cole. Yo, whoever that is, the mom, the nanny, she's on site. Oh, she in trouble. She's in trouble. You were keeping her safe. <laughs> what evidence do you have now to protect yourself? <laughs> Ah, I, I, it's just she. She's a lovely woman. Just practicing my lines. I guess he's learning to overcome the fear and learn to, to communicate Let's with those people. This part, Mr. Cunningham. You know, when I went to school here, there was a terrible fire in the section of the theater. They rebuilt the whole thing. Oh, and now he's gonna see everyone burn. Oh no! Okay, that was the lady that was burning the fire. Okay. He is worthy! <laughs> the God of Thunder! Oh, King Arthur. <laughs> okay, okay.
Finally, I feel like a good feel-good moment in the city. I can smile. Man, I've been so tense the whole time. Even Bruce Willis, Malcolm is laughing. Maybe it's time to say thanks to someone closer to you. This moment is too happy clappy for this film. There's something else brewing for the ending. I managed to communicate with you now. What? What do you mean? Communicate? <laughs> That's your mom, fam. She died. Oh my god, but well, you can see it? Oh, he knows, yes. Obviously. Where is she? Standing next to my window. Oh, yes. The mom's like, I don't want to see the old lady. Please don't show the old lady. Oh, they showed the old lady. Grandma says hi. She says she's sorry for taking the bumblebee pendant. She just likes it a lot. Oh, so the grandma's in the house. <laughs> what? <laughs> she me sometimes. She said, you know, you were the one. You and her had a fight. Right before her death, you were saying that. Hey, yo, now she's believing. Now she's believing. She's like, yo, my son got receipts on me. Yo, all the performances in this movie. Mwah. Every day. Cause this is like pretty emotional, man. Like it's so cleverly, like it's impactful, man. Oh man, now I'm cry almost crying, man. That was good. Uh, I just watched Morbius today as well, and the contrast in emotional tone between this and Morbius. It's like Morbius was all over the place, man. It's just like, and this, this is cleverly. Yeah, I like this a lot, a lot, a lot. Wait. He's dead talking to her. 100%. Mom, are you coming? She was talking to herself the whole time. Even at the dinner table where she's like, happy anniversary. She was just crying and sad talking to herself. That's why she wasn't responding. And the ring dropped. He died that night. Yeah. It's because the whole movie was told to the perspective of this doctor. And he was seeing the dead doctor the whole time getting help from him. He was helping this kid from the the dead world. Yep, there's the dinner table one. Okay. Poor wife, man. Where's the blood? <laughs> oh, there's the blood. There's the blood. My bad, my bad. So he's been walking around with that the whole time, but because he's got a jacket on. Fam, did the wife call 911 ASAP? Yo, imagine seeing this in the theater back then. And you just like had that massive twist at the end. That would have been freaky. You need to help someone. Man, I'm getting teary eyed. This is emotional. I, did. I didn't expect this movie to hit me in the feels this much. Bruce Willis is fantastic. I'm not crying, you are. Alright? I'm good. Well done, M. Night Shyamalan. Well done. That was beautiful, man. That was such a great film. That was fantastic. The, the Sixth Sense is absolutely mad, man. I really enjoyed that. I thought it was great. I thought it was great. It was great. Like... I didn't expect it to, like, resonate that emotionally with me. Like, it was really great stuff. Like, obviously some tense scenes as well. Some great tension. Some really creepy and scary stuff. Um, there wasn't an over-reliance on, like, the score and the scary scenes as well. Like, there was a lot of scenes where it just went quiet. No music, just dialogue. And the dialogue is what carried the movie. It was fantastic dialogue here and there. Like, not here and there. Fantastic dialogue throughout. Um, 
Bruce Willis is absolutely fantastic in this. What a film to watch for the first time featuring Bruce Willis. Like, what a film to watch. It was absolutely fantastic. And a nice, I guess it was a neat, happy ending as well once he's come to his realization that he did die, but he's just doing his final tasks, you know, before I guess he's relieved of his duties, like helping Cole, helping the kid out. And then, you know, um, telling his wife, you know, that you were never second. And I'm getting teary saying that, man. But that, yeah, that was like such a good film. That was really great, guys. If you enjoyed my reaction to The Sixth Sense, let me know in the comment section down below what you think of that movie. But as always, been your boy Moses. Take care. God bless. Peace. Oh,